Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you five tips and tricks you can use to get your dog used to the crate. Okay, the first tip is get them used to the crate. Going in, going out, you know, going in for a drink, going in for some food. So what you need to do from day one is, for example, you know, put some food in there, put some treats in and let them just go in on their own accord. Don't force them, don't shove them, don't grab them, you know, let them go in, explore, sniff, you know, let them be on their own, like stay with them, but let them go in nicely, calmly, without you going, oh, get in now, you know, I'm gonna hurt you if you don't go in. Because that's not the right way to do it at all. You'll just scare them and they won't go in there. The second thing to nicely approach them to a new thing, the crate, is some toys, some nice, cuddly, cozy, warm toys. So maybe a ball or, you know, a teddy bear, a nice warm teddy, teddy bear with the brother and sister smell on, for example, from when they used to be there or a toy that the brother and sister used to play with that the owner before has let you take for that puppy because that will get them used to it. Well, the third thing, blankets with human smell on or puppy and puppy sisters or brothers that the he or she might have been with before you have come and got them. The fourth thing is chews. Now, you guys might think, oh no, they'll choke on it when I'm out. Yes, I know, but if you have like if you have some soft chews like the ones that you can get that don't break and pieces don't come off like puppy chews the safe ones i'll try and link put a picture up here at the top of the screen for you guys that you can get and um, they are safe they are safe because we put them in when we would have left george for a few minutes or something like that to let him settle down in the cage the fifth thing is make them love going in. This is crucial. Make them love, you know, when they go in for a drink, you know, fuss them, say, well done, yay. Or, you know, throw some, keep doing things like, you know, throwing some treats in, praising them, saying, well done, clever, clever girl, clever boy. Or throw some toys in, close the cage, let them, so leave them, close the door. If they cry, go in, you know, say it's okay go back out you know throw some more treats and keep doing that because it, it will help, help. And, and the sick thing is just be there for them no maybe if it's not the puppy hasn't come from a really well bred home or the human properly before hasn't looked after especially if it's a rescue or they just don't like going in be there for them don't force them just know that they are may find that difficult may you know you may like imagine that was you going in a cage that's dark and stormy maybe like not stormy but dark and gloomy and stuff they might think it's something bad that's why i was saying in the third thing with the blankets rub your human scent put some like maybe if you've had a dog before had put their blanket in i know that may be hard for you but that will help the puppy maybe to like you know relax in there it will help them so if you enjoyed today's video make sure to like comment and subscribe and turn that post notification bell on so you never miss a video so yeah bye guys thanks for all watching